Next up in 4.1 is something called circular arc length. This is a, you know, a little bit off of the, the path that we've been going so far. We've been dealing with mostly angles in this. And we are going to have some things with angles in this particular case, but the formula here is, is going to allow us to measure the length around the arc around a circle. So imagine that when we're dealing with a circle, we're trying to decide maybe what is the length of the arc from like here to here. That's what we're measuring is arc length. And so that would be the part here that, that we would call S in this case. So here's the formula, S equals R theta. Simple little formula, some things that you need to know. First of all, S represents what we call arc length. Now, not sure why they used S for that, but that's always the the variable that's used, so we're going to stick with it for consistency. R is the length of the radius, or one radian in the circle, and then theta is the central angle. Now that central angle must be represented in radians. If it's not in radians, then we need to convert it to degrees, or excuse me, if it's in degrees, if it's not in radians, we need to convert it to radians by using the methods from the last couple examples. And Basically it's multiply by pi over 180 and reduce. So that's an important thing to know. Also, S and R, if we're doing this the right way, S and R are going to be in the same units when all is said and done. So we can uh, use that to comment on the units for a particular problem. All right, two examples here. Number one, what is the arc length on a circle with a radius of four, so that's R, and a central angle of 10 radians. So that's going to be our theta. We want to know what is the arc length. Our formula being S equals R theta. Remember that theta has to be in radians, which it is luckily, and so now we can just plug it in. R is 4, theta is 10, so it's just really 4 times 10, pretty simple problem, makes it 40. Now 40 what? Remember that S and R will be in the same units, so R is 4 centimeters, that means S, which is our uh, problem here, is going to be in centimeters also. So 40 centimeters will be the arc length for that particular problem. All right, next up, number two, an arc with a central angle of 60, so that's going to be theta, has a length of 8 inches. So the arc length is eight inches, that's gonna be S. What is the length of the radius? That's our question here, what is R? Now, with this formula, as I've mentioned a couple times already, the angle needs to be in radians. So in order for this to work, we have to start by converting 60 into radians, and we're gonna convert that by multiplying by pi over 180. Now 60 divided by 180, if we reduce that, that's one third. So that goes to pi over three is the reduced angle for this one. So uh, when we plug it into the formula, we are gonna use pi over three. Now to plug into the formula, S equals R theta. We know S, that is eight. We're trying to find R, so we put that in as the variable, and then we just found out what theta was, so we're gonna put in theta as pi over three. We're gonna leave this in as exact form as we can, so you'll notice it's a pretty simple equation. We're just going to uh, try to isolate R, so we're gonna get rid of this pi over three, uh, dividing by fractions, same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, so I could multiply both sides by 3 over pi to take care of this. By 3 over pi there too, so then pi's cancel, 3's cancel, that means that we're left with just r on this side, and that's equal to 3 times 8 over pi, so 24 over Pi, and if you want to get the approximate answer for that, you can. Maybe that's a good idea in this case. Um, let me just get that real quick. 24 divided by pi is going to be about 
0.64 approximately. So something like that for the second example. So again, remember that with arc length, we want to look at this formula, S equals R theta. We only have to remember that formula if we know that we need to uh, put it in radians first. If you would prefer to work with degrees, that's okay. There is a version of the formula for that. You can find it in the book in section 4.1. So go ahead and use that if you want to, but um, you'll need to remember that when the test time comes around. And I think this one is a much easier formula to remember.